having the confidence and skill to express herself in art cannot be underrated. In dance, I strongly see this with facial expressions. Leah Kim, in my opinion, is really great at expressing with her face. While her face is blocked out, you can still feel the high energy movement. But when her face is back in, the expression that it gives heightens the overall viewing experience. For me, this solidifies the idea of showing expression equals good. The TLDR to this video is that drawing to convey a specific emotion or idea gives more direction than drawing to make a good image. So what does this mean? Well I have two friends doing an art class, Amanda and Taylor. Both are great. However, I was talking to Amanda and she said that Taylor's work has the juice. And when I look at it, I totally understand. If the assignment is to draw fish, it may seem banal and an exercise merely focusing on shape, form and texture, which is perfectly great. But when I saw these fishes, these birds, rabbits, are these naked mole rats? Wow, all of her work has so much life and energy. This one is like, hoo hoo. This one's like, hmm. This one's like, <laughs> The drawings make me feel this way. And if Taylor's literally writing on a matter he he he, hmm. Then I assume she's feeling out emotions while drawing. I think when I over rationalize, I lose sense of any art, intuition, or emotional output. Perhaps I'm so fearful of making a bad drawing that I put all my effort into making it technically right. And while this can make drawings that would be less wrong, for me, I think it tunnel visions myself on what the image is about. My, my fish isn't bad per se, it's like, uh. But if I did a page of fishes, they'd all be like, uh. When I did this drawing, I just wanted to draw a fish. I didn't even consider trying to push a happy fish or an angry fish or a fish with a small head. If art oftentimes is an expression of an idea, sometimes I've been mistakenly prioritizing not failing over trying to say something. Now I haven't yet figured out the equivalent of dancing facial expressions, but in art, uh, the discipline is definitely too wide for it to literally be faces. So for example, in this image by Theo Prinz, I still get a good feeling, but there is no faces in the image. So I, I don't think uh, the secret is uh, literally drawing faces. However, I do remember this image where the art direction was to make the props in the background feel like they have personality or faces. So here is the same image broken down. When I see the broken down image, uh, this fish over here, it isn't a one-to-one -one for the final, i.e. the final doesn't look like a fish, but the guiding principle of the fish likely helped make this bookcase so attractive. It takes confidence in yourself to believe that what you do is right. And even if that goal is hard to achieve in art, I think that trying to make a statement that brings joy or happiness or emotion is definitely worth fighting for. These last few weeks, I'm thinking this is the missing X factor that I need. I've been trying it out here and here. And even though it's rougher than some previous drawings I've done, I feel like it's more in the direction I want to go. I hope you found value in this video about putting your soul or some kind of intent in art. Whether that actually is happiness or frustration or even how yellow a sunflower is, which for the record I think is super super legit. If you like this video you can help me out by liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. That's what pushes the algorithm. I'm wishing you the best wherever you may be on your art journey. And as always, I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. Peace. Thank you.